What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a swing camera to FSX 2020 using your mobile phone or tablet. FSX 2020 has become my go-to software for driving range practice since adding video. And since doing this, my practice has gotten so much better. Even if the slow motion isn't as good as it would be with a thousand dollar camera, it's still worth adding. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the steps so that you can do it too. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna to need to do is download a piece of software to your PC called IV Cam. I will put the links to everything in this video in the video description. IV Cam is the software that is gonna let you use your phone as a webcam for your PC. And that is what FSX 2020 needs. You just need the standard edition uh, for what we're gonna be using it for. And uh, if you don't know, just go with the 64-bit version. You're gonna go through the installation uh, on your PC like you normally would for anything else. And when you're done, you should have an IV Cam icon on your desktop. Now, before doing anything else, we also have to add the app to our phone. You can simply go to your phone's app store and search IV Cam and it is this one right here. Just go ahead and download that to your phone and we'll come back to it when we're ready. All right, now that the install is complete on your PC, you're gonna have to restart and then you come back and open the IV Cam app. And you're gonna get this screen, waiting for connection. At this point, you need to go over to your phone or mobile device and open the IV Cam app on that. And there we go. Now we've got it on our phone and our PC, and we are good to go. You're gonna to want to go into these settings here and adjust where, where you can do landscape or portrait. You can change the resolution, and, but you definitely want to raise your frames per second to 60. It won't go any higher than that. My iPhone is capable of 240 frames per second, but we are capped at 60. And the higher it is, the better the slow motion is gonna be. But unfortunately, I just have not found any other type of software that will give you more than this. And also on the 4K, uh, I've noticed that even if I set it to 60, uh, I don't get that inside of FSX 2020. So I leave it at 1920 by 1080, 60 frames per second, video quality medium, um, make sure it applies. Hit OK, and now we are ready to go into FSX 2020 and add this as our swing cam. All right, so we are in FSX 2020, and we're gonna go up to the settings, and then to swing cam. And mine's already set up here, but uh, I'll just show you. You're gonna go down to select camera, and it's gonna be called E2E Soft IV Cam and it shows you the frame rate that it's getting and all of the same settings we've got here. So it is already selected and we are good to go. Um, now, one other thing you're gonna wanna do is go to player and make sure that you connect to your FSX Live account. This way you have the option of saving your swing videos and you can see them later on in your FSX Live account on the website. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And now we are connected. All right, so I'm gonna to go to the driving range and show you how this works. Way too much, but that's okay. And we've got the instant video replay. You can see it does not look bad at 60 frames per second and half speed. And my ball data and the club data. So you can customize how you want all those screens to play. Just go to settings and go to game options. And right here on shot data, um, that's gotta be checked. And then you can check how long you want each of these pages to be shown. I found that video at 10 seconds or seven is enough to 
kind of see the whole swing. Everything else I've got for five, the table, I don't want to see it all. So let me just hit another one and I can show you more of the video stuff you can do. So in this replay, if you grab your mouse and you hit pause or anything else, it will stop the timer and you don't have to, uh, it won't disappear on you. So you can hit this to restart. And if you want, you can uh, draw some lines, you know, and you can change it to quarter speed, hit play, There you go. And then this last one here is just frame by frame. So sometimes I will go here and then just click through one at a time, frame by frame, if I'm trying to look at a specific position. Um, that's pretty much how it works. Oh, almost went in. All right, so you may say, that's cool, but I want two cameras. If you have the Bushnell Launch Pro and you've got a gold or unlocked uh, version, you can have up to two cameras. And of course, if you've got a GC3 or GC Quad, you can have that as well. So I'm gonna use my iPad as the second camera, and there's just something you gotta do with IV Cam to set that up. So I will demonstrate that. All right, guys, so if you want to use multiple devices as you know, a, a second camera, you can do that with IV Cam as well. Um, there is a page on their website, which I will also put a link to in the description, and it tells you how to do it. But basically, you pretty much just have to find this specific file and run it, and then you will have a, a second camera driver uh, on your computer. So in my case, uh, it should be the same for you, but you just go to your C drive, program files, E2E soft, IV cam, and then find this file right here, driver install, it's a Windows batch file. So I'm just gonna double click that and allow it to run. And looks like we need to restart. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and we'll come back. All right guys, so we have restarted. So I'm gonna open the IV Cam app on the desktop. So you notice this window says IV Cam number one. Now I'm gonna open IV Cam again from the shortcut on the desktop. And it opens another window for IV Cam number two. Now I'm going to go over to my iPad and open the IV Cam app on that. And there we've got it. Now I've got cam number one and cam number two positioned where I want them. So now we are gonna go back into FSX 2020. I'm gonna go to settings, swing cam, and we've got camera number one showing as my face camera, but I don't want that. We've got two IV cam options now under here. So it's not that one, it's this one. I want this to be my uh, camera number one. And then I'm gonna go to camera number two and select this one. And there we go. Now I'm only getting 30 frames per second because my iPad uh, does not record in 60 frames per second. So we are good to go, I believe. So let's go back into the range and I will show you what this looks like. Here's my camera number one. And I can pause it real quick and go down here, switch to camera number two and see it. Now I'm connected to FSX Live. Whenever I uh, leave the driving range, 
it is gonna ask me to save the swing videos. If I click save, these videos will be uploaded to FSX Live and I can watch them later. So I'm gonna hit save and show you how that works. All right, so we are at performance.foresightsports.com and I'm just going to sign in. Now at the driving range, it all goes under stats. And then see, we've got a couple from today. This last one is with two cameras and it was just the one shot. So you can see there's our one shot. There's our tracer club data and our videos. Both are from shot one. Um, so you can play them from here. Unfortunately, you don't have all the same tools where you can draw lines and all that stuff and replay at different speeds, but you can download it and use it in some other software if you would like. And of course I can click on this shot and it will show me those two shots and all of the related numbers for that shot. So that's pretty much it for 25 bucks. Uh, you can download this app and make use of all of the swing videos. All right, guys, hope that helped you out. Like I said, having a video replay of my swing in my practice has really helped me and I've enjoyed it a lot. Hope it helps you. And uh, if this video helped you, please give it a like and subscribe and we will see you next time.